All right, following on from five jellyfish, here is five clownfish. And again, this is prior to the release of the golden pack. So, um, you know, the life system is different and I'll, we're not going against any of the new pets. So here I risk the uh, tapir pill and I get the one in four jellyfish, unfortunately. Uh, of course, again, <laughs> we're using the jellyfish to carry us through. Um, I, I've had a lot of attempts at this as well, probably more overall than jellyfish, although fewer that actually got to nine. Um, and I tried lots of different methods like, um, you know, just focusing on the clownfish in the early game, but really you're going, ultimately the, the be, I think the best approach for this is exactly the same as the jellyfish, which is looking for alpaca and then going wild with uh, level ups. Um, and here we've got the three rather sizable clownfish. We've got no equipment, so we might as well go for uh, some husky scaling in the meantime. Uh, we go against what looks like a, a free-to-play team. And unfortunately, one, one of the issues you have with clownfish is that if you're not, if you don't get the alpaca and you're, um, I did have double dragon there. I could maybe have thought about that, but um, if you don't have the uh, the uh, alpaca, it becomes very difficult to level up the clownfish. You're never going to find enough chocolate um, in order to, to get the full team of level threes, or it's very unlikely anyway. But with the alpaca, you know, you're leveling it up, you're getting chocolate for free. And ultimately the main um, thing that's going to push this over the top is combining these level twos. Now it feels really bad to take a unit that you've scaled for the whole game that's 20 plus stats and then just combine it into another for plus three plus three. But you're going to get a huge rebate on stats due to all the clownfish triggering and also um, the alpaca is going to make it much quicker to get to the next level two clownfish. Now here the roll is incredible. I get two clownfish and the chocolate. So we'll level that one up and it immediately jumps to almost double stats. Uh, I think I use the chocolate on the alpaca here rather than on, on the clownfish because yeah, I would rather get something like turtle in. Maybe I'm just gonna buy the melon instead. Yeah, probably better than waiting for pill. Maybe if we had level two alpaca, it would be worth it. But um, I, as I've pointed out many times before, it's often you can come a cropper if you uh, um, if you try and look for pill that late. That all actually looked like another free to play team there. Um, so here, I'm look now, now we get the double pill, of course, just as I say, it's unlikely. But now the alpaca is level two and the clownfish are just gonna go absolutely ballistic here. So we'll level up that one from four or five to 22, 23. And we'll just wait till next turn to combine them together. And um, I can't remember how many I ended up with, how many level threes I ended up with on this run, but here I also freeze tapir because I'm paranoid about not finding enough um, to get to, to get to the five. Um, and here we go against the double dragonfly. It's so common to see that. And actually they were pretty close to, to beating us even though we had them, um, you know, those huge injections of stats. We need more equipment as soon as possible. So I think uh, we'll level up here. It doesn't really matter if we don't find it, if we, there's no space for a tier six because we, we don't need anything other than clownfish and uh, um, and equipment. There's there's the melon, so we'll take that on the second biggest, I think. There's a bit of, obviously a bit of indecision here and cheese as well. And then I guess we've only, got, if we win the next one, which I think would be very likely, um, we don't need the alpaca anymore uh, unless we happen to get a crazy roll of clownfish in the default, in the, the starting shop. But this time it's not free, play, free to play team and <laughs> they've got one ups all over the place. I, it's always scary, you never know if you're going to have enough, you know, it seems like you've got a huge amount of stats, but I, I think in this case we, we should be okay. Um, because Vulture just 
I mean, it's still good, but it's just not quite what it used to be. And yeah, we, we, we get the win in the end. And now, um, looking for a pill or another clownfish. Although maybe I should, uh, yeah, I, I, I couldn't freeze the, the steak there because uh, I want the pill. So now we're, I've cut out a huge long gap here where I was really deciding what to do because I feel like I'm in danger of winning the next round even if I sell the alpaca. And, I, and like you see, I rolled down looking for pill, don't find it. Um, I sat for a long time trying to decide what I was going to do, um, having had multiple 9 win fails. And I'll show some of them at the end. So in the end, I just sell the alpaca and I decide I'm going to rearrange for a throw. So we do get the pill though. And now I'm going to move the melon units to the back. I think in the end, what I decide to do here is put the second biggest melon in second position, just on the off chance that uh, Chili will break the melon. It's really strange when you're trying to throw and you're <laughs> trying to decide what the worst order for your team is. But, but for once, um, Tiger uh, Blowfish helps me out and um, demolishes my team. That is an absolutely disgusting setup with the <laughs> White Tiger and level 3 Clownfish. Clownfish actually is probably, I don't know if it's the most common, but probably one of the, the most common units you see in custom packs. Um, also, uh, um, jellyfish like, you know, from earlier today. But yeah, it's just such a good complement to so many things. Um, and since leveling up is so much in your, you know, beneficial for you anyway, just getting those extra stats, just it, it can make such a difference. And when you see the difference between a team with no clownfish on like, on like turn seven or eight versus one that has it, it's quite a stark comparison. I don't know why here I thought about putting the stake on the two, three. I mean, it's so likely to get sniped. And here we go against a totally bizarre buy sell team where for some reason they gave melon to two uh, hammer sharks at the back, despite having the huge uh, buffalo and I, I don't know what that, what that was about, but I was happy to take the win. So here are some uh, <laughs> runs that ended in miserable failure. So this one I did have the alpaca and we had the double level three, but my stats are nowhere near what they were for uh, turn 16 here. And what do we go against? It is Rooster Dodo. Now obviously Dodo has been nerfed since this, but um, I think even with uh, the weaker Dodo, we'd get absolutely annihilated here. Rooster, just uh, an absolute monster and will continue to be, regardless of what the changes are to Dodo. So I think, I'm not sure if that was the first or second that I'd had that was a, a nine. I've had a lot of like eights, seven eights and nines as well, where I didn't find enough clownfish. Um, there were some wins as well, where I had like alpaca plus two clownfish. So here, my I'm turn 14, my stats are absolutely terrible, apart from the one big melon unit. And I optimistically put stake on the two, three, and it's a monster scaling um, team with the level 3 monkey, 50-50 clownfish and T-Rex. And we just get absolutely demolished. But none nonetheless, um, happy to get clownfish off the list. Obviously it's been done before, both uh, Single Malt and um, Super Auto Gaming have, uh, have posted winning runs. But, you know, I like to get them all myself in the end.